The first thing I'm doing is applying a primer. It's the first step I take regardless of if I'm starting with the face or the eyes. The primer I'm using today is the Wet n Wild Coverall Primer. It looks like a moisturiser, it feels like a moisturiser and I find it acts like one too. It adds hydration and it absorbs quickly into the skin and it just preps the skin nicely for the products to come. I'm mixing these two foundations together to get the shade that I want because I'm wearing some fake tan but also to achieve the finish that I want. I also love mixing foundations together because it kind of, I suppose it kind of customises my foundation but in terms of the application I literally just get on the product any which way and then I blend the foundation out and I like to spend quite a lot of time buffing and blending the foundation into the skin but because I like a full coverage I also build the product up in a couple of light layers so this takes a bit of time too but I find if you do it this way opposed to going in with a load of foundation at once it looks less cakey. Next I'm adding some concealer and this is my holy grail concealer, it's under the 4 euro mark and it's the best one I've ever used. So I'm adding this under the eye first to give a brightening effect there but also to add some more coverage as well. Then I'm applying the product to the chin, the centre of my nose and then on the forehead too. And I'm just using the same brush that I use for the foundation to buff the product into the skin. I want to lock those products in place now so to do that I'm using this translucent powder from Essence. I'm starting under the eyes because this is the first place the product creases on me and then I'm just pressing the powder over the rest of the face. I use a smaller brush for this step rather than a big fluffy powder brush because I really want to work that powder into the skin. I don't want my makeup to budge but along with that I also like a matte appearance to my skin. And I know when to stop powdering when my skin isn't tacky to the touch. Once it's not, then I'm confident my makeup is set in place for the day. Then I just take a fluffy powder brush and I sweep it down the face just to remove any excess powder that may be sitting on top of the skin. Next up, I'm using a contour shade to carve out my cheekbones. Now mine are slightly pronounced. I have this kind of line here, so I know to apply the product in that hollow. But if you don't have prominent cheekbones or you're unsure of where to apply the product in general, use the tip of your ear as a guide and sweep the contour shade down from this point. So I use a small contour brush first to kind of lay down and blend the product as much as I can but then I go in with a fluffy angled brush to buff and blend the contour out and then I use this larger brush for applying the contour shade around my forehead and down along my jawline too. Now I'm sweeping some of my face powder underneath the contour to sharpen it up and kind of make it look more defined and then I'm moving on to blush. So I'm using this gorgeous shade from Too Faced, I nearly didn't want to because I didn't want to ruin that lovely design. But anyway, this is a gorgeous pink shade, very pigmented, so I'm just using a really light hand to apply the product. To highlight my skin, I'm mixing the two powder products in my Sleek Sauces palette, so the vanilla and the purpley shade, and I'm adding the highlight to the tops of my cheekbones. And most people apply it to the tip of the nose, but I kind of like to apply it either side of my nose. I don't know why. <laughs> I just like how it looks. And then I'm adding it to the Cupid's bow as well. Now, I went a bit ham with the highlighter, so I decided to tone it down slightly. And to do that, I'm just pressing over the highlighter with my foundation brush, and this softens it slightly. So 10 years later, we are done with the face, and now I'm going on to the eyes. So I'm prepping as always with the MAC Painterly Paint Pot. I'm brushing this all over the lid, up to the brow bone, just anywhere that I'm going to be applying shadow. Then I'm setting that base in place with a translucent powder and I'm just using a big fluffy blending brush because it applies the powder quickly but also because of its size it applies a light layer. I'm taking a felt tip liner pen now and I'm drawing the outline of my winged liner. If you've been following my channel for a while now, you'll know that I always do this because it makes applying liquid liner easier to do. Like after you perfect the outline, all you've got to do is fill it in. But the outline also gives me a point to blend my shadows in from and that's mainly why I'm doing it today. 
The first shadow I'm taking is this white from the Meat Matte Nude Eyeshadow Palette. I really just like this matte white shade, it's the best in my collection, it's extremely pigmented. So I'm packing this under the brow bone and then I'm blending out the edges with a blending brush. Next, I'm taking the Meat Matrimony palette from the Balm as well, and I'm picking up some of this pink shade and I'm applying a light wash of it into the crease. I know I'm doing a cut crease look today, but I don't need to be precise with this shade because I'll be blending my other shadows into it. Now I'm picking up some of this deep mauve shade and I'm using a pencil brush to lay this product down in the crease. And I'm taking my time with this step because this is kind of like the foundation. I'm going to be layering and building my shadows up from this point. So I take a little eyeshadow at a time and I sweep it back and forward in the crease and then I blend upwards from there. And I like to use a pencil brush to blend and pull the shadows upwards just because it's small and I can be quite precise with it but you can use a fluffy blending brush as well. So once I have faded that mauve shade out as much as I can, then I'm going back in with that pink shade on my fluffy blending brush and I'm sweeping it back and forward in the crease just to fuse the pink and the mauve shade together. The last eyeshadow I'm using in the crease is this deep purple and I'm doing the same as before. I'm taking a little product on my pencil brush and I'm running it across the crease. I find looking down into a mirror helps greatly when creating a look like this because you can see the outline of your crease better so it makes applying the product easier to do. So once again I'm building up the eyeshadow in the crease little by little and I'm using that pencil brush to pull and blend the shadow up into the shades that I applied previously. Now I've got two full in-depth tutorials on how to create a cut crease makeup look so I'll link those below if you're maybe new to this style or if you just want a little extra help with the look. Now I'm taking Matte Lin and I'm using a small brush to apply this shadow to the lid to add some colour there, but I'm also using it to clean up the crease a little, just to make it look a bit more polished. If you really wanted a defined cut crease, you could use some concealer here, but I kind of like it to still look a little bit soft, so that's why I'm using eyeshadow. Now that I've finished with the eyeshadows on the lid, I'm going to add some liquid liner and fill in that outline. I picked up a dark brown liquid liner because I thought that the brown would go nicer with the pinks opposed to the black, but this liquid liner is still quite dark, it almost looks black. I find it very hard to find a true brown liquid liner, so if you have any recommendations, I'd love to know them. Now I'm applying some false lashes and this particular style is new to me. I'm a huge fan of Kiss lashes so I was delighted to be sent out these the other day. They're lovely and fluffy and very easy to apply like the rest of the range and I just think this style was perfect for this look in particular. I'm jumping to the lips now and then I'll go back and finish off the eyes. So I'm just using MAC Stone Lip Liner to outline my lips. And you're not going to really see this in the finished look, maybe ever so slightly, but I'm just using it to shape my lips. Because my lips are uneven, I just find applying a lip liner first makes applying the lipstick less stressful because I can see clearly where to apply the product. So now I'm filling in the lips with one of my favourite liquid lipsticks. It's the shade Embellishment from the NYX Lip Lingerie range. And if you haven't tried these, you need to. They're really, really nice. So once I'm happy with how that looks, then I'm going to apply a lighter shade to the centre of my lips to give sort of an ombre feel and to add a bit more dimension. So I applied the Penny's lipstick to the centre and then I'm blending around the edges with the NYX one just to fade the two nicely together. Quickly going back to the eyes now, I'm smoking some of that deep purple all the way along the lower lash line. And then I'm pressing some black eyeshadow from the Matrimony palette as well, just on the outer third of the eye to give some depth. Then I'm lining my waterline with a brown liner. And to finish off the look, I'm going to add a couple of coats of mascara to my top and bottom lashes. And then that's it. So I hope you enjoyed the tutorial and have a lovely Valentine's Day. And I'll catch you all soon.